Okay, so let's work on making our first RoboPro program. Uh, let's start with where you can find RoboPro. There may be a shortcut on the desktop that has the little black fish. Or you can go to Start All Programs, scroll down and find RoboPro, and then select RoboPro from that menu. You see I have RoboPro open and I've clicked new to make a new file. The first thing you'll need to do is to be sure here under environment that RoboTX is selected. Then go to COM USB. Be sure that RoboTX controller is selected and be sure that USB Bluetooth is connected. All right. I right now I'm not connected to a controller so I'm in simulation mode you will be connected to a controller and you want to say USB Bluetooth and select OK. Then you want to be sure that you're up and running so you'll click the test interface here and be sure that you get a green bar here. Your interface should say USB here. All right, if you're not connecting be sure that you have the power plugged in and the USB port and also be sure um, that you've turned the controller on. So let's just go over a couple of the components of the test interface here. This area is the inputs and it's for digital and analog. You can see you can change each one of these inputs from digital and they have the names by them, the trail sensor. This is digital 5 kilo ohm, that's be your regular switches, your read switches, those kinds of things analog 10 volt, analog 5 kilo ohm, that's your NTC resistor, those types of things, and then your ultrasonic. All right. Here in this area you have your motors and outputs, and here you have counter inputs. Remember that counter inputs could also be used as digital inputs if you absolutely needed more than the eight inputs, but you didn't want to add um, additional modules. All right, so that'll give you a, a little bit of an idea of what's happening there. Okay, so let's go with writing our first program. So we'll imagine that for my first program, simply all I want to do is um, start my program, turn a motor on for a couple of seconds, then turn the motor off. Okay, so all our programs have to start with the green man. Um, if your panel doesn't look like this, go here to level please and change to level one beginners. All right. So we'll put the green man in. Okay. And so the first thing we want to do is turn a motor on. So here's the motor one. If I've connected it in port one then motor one will be fine. I can right click on that and I get these options. I can change which input it's on. I can change where it's connected. I can change the speed. I can make it go clockwise, stop or counterclockwise. And I can change the image as well. I do recommend that you change the image so that it helps you when you're looking at your program. So you'll click OK. All right. I want the motor to come on. I want it to stay on for three seconds. So I drag in the timer and connect it. When I right click, I can change, change the time units, seconds, minutes, hours. I'm going to make it three seconds. Okay. Then I want the motor to stop. So again, I'll put in the motor command. Right. And I right click to open up the dialog box. I select stop. OK and you'll see that my image changes to a stop so this is clockwise this was stop and now I want my program to terminate so this would be a simple program to make a motor run clockwise for three seconds then stop and terminate the program 